Thanks. What a great story to get us started here for the spring. Let's shift gears now from softball to baseball. All right. Right now, the top five teams in the state, Fairfield Ward, Mustangs unbeaten. Then you go Trumbull, Southington, Guilford, and boy, Fairfield Ludlow. So Fairfield's got two of the top five in the state as we get to some highlights for you. In a pleasant afternoon, it was at French Park and Seymour Wildcats hosting Kennedy High out of Waterbury Seymour's Aiden Denegris on the mound and dealing strikes against the Eagles. Seymour led this thing two zip in the third when Kennedy takes advantage of the old bouncing ball. Jaden Lopez with that roller oh, wow. that just hits the bag and takes the high hop. And he turns on the Jets and winds up with a check swing double. A couple of batters later, Emmanuel Alberto will pick up an RBI with this grounder to second. Makes it two to one Seymour as we go to the bottom of the fourth. That's where the Wildcats add to their lead. Ben Fetzko driving in Shane White from third. Seymour adds one more to finish off a 4-1 victory. Derby hosted Oxford in the Naugatuck Valley game. The Wolverines attack in the third. Brandon Fletter with a drive to right that's going to wind up against the fence. And Fetter a little too fast for his own good. We got Wolverines in trouble on the base pads. Derby winds up getting a runner at the plate for an out. But three pitches later, Fetter's coming home on a wild one. Oxford goes up 3-0 at this point. And it's going to stand up because Isaiah Calazzo was unhittable on the mound. Gave up a walk that's erased on the line drive double play to Tyler Bogodin. Calazzo throwing the no-hitter wow, as Oxford improves to 6-4 and four on the season with that 3-0 victory. More Valley action. Naugatuck at Waterbury Career Academy. Big inning for the visiting Greyhounds in the top of the first. Kevin Sisteri. A high fly to left, and it'll drop in to bring home Damon Abate from third. That makes it one zip noggy. All right, we're still in the first, and the bases are full of hounds for Nathan Gendron. He rips this pitch to left. Oh, and it's deep, and it's going to clear the bases as the Greyhounds just race around to the plate. Still in the first. Abate with his second at bat of the inning, coming up with a, an RBI single to left. Eight runs in the first for mm. Naugatuck. More than enough for Lucas Ferriolo. He was sparkling, was the lefty, in his shutout effort on the mound. Ah, the Noggy Doggies now 7-2 and two after a 19-0 victory. All right, we're going to shine the spotlight now. On a different spring sport, Joe, girls lacrosse. Yes, in the latest game time CT girls lacrosse coaches poll, the top five are Darianne, New Canaan, Wilton, Greenwich, and Richfield. <laughs> FCAC, here we are. But we're going to Avon. Their game between Rocky Hill and Avon. Making sure those chicks are, those uh, sticks are ready to go, and they are. Here we go. Avon gets right to it. Lindsay Kunzelman has the Avon girls on the board. Nice play here. The give and go. Catherine Martin with the finish, and she scores. And Avon leads Rocky Hill 2-0. Big day for the junior, Lily Woods. Penalty shot, she fires it into the upper right corner. That makes it 3-0. Avon leads. Woods again, breakaway, another Avon goal. A big effort by Avery Kunkel. The Rocky Hill goalie makes a nice save, but the rebound goes back to Kunkel, who puts it home for Avon's sixth goal. And then Woods one more time. You get her one-on-one -on -one like that and forget about it. Avon beats Rocky Hill for an early season win. Out to Windsor. The game there between Enfield and Windsor. Enfield senior Jayla Kennedy hard to the top right. It's 1-0 Enfield. Windsor has a chance to tie it, but a great save by the Enfield goalie. Kira Sep Seprenat and Enfield who keeps the pressure on. Lilla Smith scores to make it 2-0. Late in the game, watch this tremendous effort by Enfield's Sabrina Ferrando, she keeps and she keeps and she keeps. <laughs> and yep, she is going to score right there. Enfield beats Windsor 9-1. That's their second win of the season.